What's up guys, Saf here on Super Saf TV and this is the world's fastest charging smartphone. It's the Realme GT3 and I've partnered with Realme to bring you an early look and really show you what this is capable of. So what makes this the fastest charging smartphone in the world? Well, it supports 240 watts SuperVOOC charging, which can charge its 4,600 milliamp hour battery to 20% in around 80 seconds, 50% in around four minutes, and it can give you a full 100% charge in around nine and a half minutes. That is absolutely insane. Now, understandably, when it comes to fast charging at this level, there are some safety concerns and there are also some concerns around the battery lifespan. Well, Realme has taken both of these into consideration and the GT3 is equipped with a large DC liquid cooling system that covers 61.5% of the battery and ensures efficient heat dissipation. And to ensure maximum charging safety, the Realme GT3 also includes a PS3 fireproof design, 13 temperature sensors and 60 layers of safety protection. It's also the very first product with over 200 watts of charging that has a two Rhineland certification for a safe fast charging system. So with all of those features, you'll be able to safely get that fast charging experience. Now, what about the battery lifespan? Well, the Realme GT3 has an 80% lifespan over 1600 charging cycles with 240 watts enabled. Now that's actually double the industry standard of 80% charging health after 800 charging cycles. The GT3 also uses intelligent charging, so it can detect the user's status and switches charging to travel mode, sleep mode, or in car mode. So that's of course the highlight feature the super, super fast charging, but the GT3 also has way more to offer. Let's initially look at the design. So you can see that we've got this matte finish. This is the booster black. It's also available in a pulse white. The matte finish also continues on to the side rails, which look really slick. And then we've got this translucent window here around the camera module. Now within this, you've got the polished chipset deco, an NFC chipset, and an RGB lighting ring, which Realme call the Pulse interface. Now this displays different light effects depending on the phone status. So for example, when the device is charging, when you're receiving a phone call, but you can choose from up to 25 color shades, two rhythm types and five lighting speed modes. Now let's take a look at the display. So this has a 6.74 inch AMOLED display which has a peak brightness of 1400 nits. We've got small bezels with a punch out, giving it around a 94% screen to body ratio. There's an in-display fingerprint scanner and we have a refresh rate of 144 Hertz. Now we've seen lots of devices out there with a 120 Hertz refresh rate, but generally speaking, 144 Hertz is for dedicated gaming devices. The GT3 not only has that higher refresh rate for a very smooth experience, but it also has a 360 Hertz touch sampling rate, making everything super responsive. And of course, that's gonna be great for gaming. Now, the GT3 is powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 chipset. And the GT3 also has a stainless steel vapor cooling system. The heat dissipation area is larger, so the heat dissipation efficiency has been significantly enhanced. We've got LPDDR5X RAM. It's a base of eight gigabytes, but it goes all the way up to 16 gigabytes. And we've got a base of 128 gigabytes of UFS 3.1 storage, but it can go all the way up to one terabyte. Now let's take a look at the cameras. So we have a 16 megapixel front facing camera, and then we have a triple rear facing camera set up between these two rings. The primary camera is 50 megapixels. It has optical image stabilization, and it's using the Sony IMX 890 sensor. We've also got an eight megapixel ultra wide camera, as well as a bonus microscope camera, I really do like microscope cameras. You can get some really interesting shots, which you wouldn't be able to get otherwise. You can go much closer than you would be able to do using a standard macro camera. And for me personally, this allows some really cool wallpapers. Taking a look around the device on the right hand side, we have a power button. On the left hand side, we have the body buttons. At the top, we have some mics as well as an IR blaster. And at the bottom, we have a SIM card tray, which has space for two SIM cards. We've got the USB type C ports, as well as one of the two speakers. This one is bottom firing, and then we've got one in the earpiece, giving you stereo sound with Dolby Atmos. 
For software, we do have Realme UI 4.0, which is based on Android 13. And for pricing, well, Realme devices have always been very competitive. And that is also the case here with the GT3, which will be starting at around $650 for the base model. Now pricing, of course, varies depending on your region. So I will leave the latest pricing and availability information down in the description below. So that is the Realme GT3, the world's fastest charging smartphone. And although that is a highlight feature, it's got lots more to offer. What do you guys think of the GT3? Do drop me a comment below, let me know. I've been partnering with Realme for quite some time and it's always nice to see them bring some real competition to the space. If you wanna see a previous Realme device that I've covered, that's gonna be linked here and here. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, then don't forget to smash that like button. And if you wanna see more content like this, then maybe consider subscribing and hit that bell icon. Thanks for watching, this is Saf on SuperSaf TV and I'll see you next time.